Okay, in this video, what I want to do is show you another test, um, a quick way to uh, reference some things when doing a hookup test. So this is um, very critical, um, and I know you may or may not have set a trend up by now, but I will set a trend up with you. What I've done is um, throughout the course, uh, you know, I finished the course and um, <clears throat> made it, but I wanted to come back and make another video. To, to give a helpful way to do um, a hookup test for for a servo. So um, that's why you see all this stuff kind of populated already. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and make a new trend and we'll call it hookup test. So we'll, we'll call it hookup test. We'll hit finish. At that point we're not done. We'll come in here into, into charts and we'll add our pins and the pins we want to choose our axis which is axis one we want to alphabetically organize this so we, then we want to put uh, the only one we want that we're concerned with is actual position and then click add so the pin we have is actual position uh, come in here to the axis uh, our x-axis and just make that like 15 seconds um, that will give it some little bit of depth and then put the uh, change in the y-axis change the uh, min and max value options to custom and put negative 10 to uh, let's just put 360 and then hit apply so this should give you your axis and then what I want you to do at that point is uh, you can go ahead and uh, run it. Now the first thing I want you to do is before you do an axis test is I want you to go in and <clears throat> go to motion axis direct and actually go to home and home the servo. Now this may come up and give a bunch of um, things like that. Um, you can turn it a little bit if you want you know basically what that's doing is that's that's the servo trying to it's going back and forth to the rollover if you haven't set the rollover yet uh, don't worry about that you won't see that um, so that's not to be concerned with uh, as far as you know if you do see that just turn the, the motor in the positive position a little bit and you should be fine or either the negative position it shouldn't be fine so now let's start the hookup test so go to hookup test open up the properties you go to hookup now let's talk about the hookup test so we know our position is at zero right now we're reading a zero over here in the trend we see a nice zero mark uh, first and foremost you want to put your test increments in there a lot of times this comes in as zero um, and of course it depends on what you're set at too as far as your dynamics um, in this case my units is in millimeters, so I'm going to move in millimeters. Um, so I'm going to set it at 5 millimeters. You can set it at whatever the distance you want to test at. The first test is the marker test. The marker test is going to let you know that the pulse encoder on the back of the motor is actually uh, getting a pulse, meaning it's, it, it has, it's getting a reading. When you turn, you're going to physically turn the shaft on the motor as it's hooked up in this state. It, this at the test increment is not part of the actual test marker. So first and foremost, we'll go ahead and do the test marker. So I'll hit that. The box pops up. I turn the shaft, and as soon as it read the motor, it was fine. So then it says command complete. Um, it did tell you to, to uh, move the axis manually through a sufficient range. That's what exactly what I did. I just moved the uh, shaft a little bit and it ran. Okay, so all right, it, it tested. It didn't even mark as at one millimeter yet. Um, the next one is a feedback. So the feedback, you will use this uh, test increment and you need to go in the positive direction. So make sure if you have a test increment that's 5 millimeters or 5 whatever or whatever your test increment is, that it is going into the positive direction. So if it's not, then you're not going to finish the test. 
So it just know that that you know if that happens that their one watch out is if if the test fails that you're probably going in the wrong direction, turn the shaft the other way and it should be fine. So the test pops up. It says move the axis manually in the positive direction. That's what I will be doing. Okay, so I'm now moving it. I moved it two, three, and as soon as it hit five, it went. You see it went over five right here. As soon as the axis went over five, it said command complete. You hit OK. It said the, the test was good. And then apply, you know, as the feedback. So yes. So um, if you, let's just say you went to the wrong direction. So I'm actually going negative right now. <clears throat> so it's, it looks like it passed as well. So every now and then you'll get it to um, pass in a, in a negative, but I wouldn't bank on that. Oh, it swapped directions on me. That's why. So now I it, it swapped directions on you. So you have to be careful on that as well. That it's going to swap directions. So the next test, and I will say this will this will cause motion. <clears throat> so the reason I had you set up the trend was for one, you can understand which direction you're turning the motor if you're turning it into a positive or a negative direction. In the test uh, feedback, you want to turn to a positive direction. So again, if you're turning into a positive direction, the only way to test that truly is if you are, you know, you have a trend open and you can actually turn it, turn the shaft and watch the trend um, or else you're just kind of guessing. So um, that's the reason I had the trend set up. The second reason I'm having the trend set up is the test command and feedback. So once you press this, it will cause live motion, um, often very slow motion. Depends on how far the test is, but um, it will go into a uh, motion. So I want to, this is the reason I had you set, set the trend up so that you are able to see that. So we'll click OK. It's actually running. Um, it's going to, you'll see it, it starts out really, really slow. And so you'll see it actually start moving. And then again, it goes to that five. Um, it, it, it'll do a test increment of five and then go to complete. So it went from 10 to five. We hit OK. Was that the positive direction? Um, we'll hit OK. Did the axis move in the positive direction? I'm going to say no because it didn't. And now it's going to apply and update the, the polarity of the motor. So now if I do it again, it's instead of going down, because it went to the negative direction, I want to go up. So now it should be going, after I do the test again, to verify that the, the polarity got swapped. Okay, so now, and just hit OK. <laughs> so as far as that goes, um, you can keep testing it if you want to like that. Um, it's just something that you can keep practicing on if you want to. Or, um, you know, most of the time this does solve the issue. So just um, be aware of that, you know, as far as that goes. The one way to, again, swap the polarity of the motor is this test right here. So um, you can do that or do the test feedback. Um, so that's very helpful. Just know that you have uh, your test increments in here. Know you can set up a trend. Um, always home the servo first if you can so that you know where you're at. Uh, the trend will show you where you're at. Um, just no matter what, if you don't have anything set as far as the uh, dynamics of the servo, like you don't know the rollover yet, you don't know the constants and stuff of that nature, you haven't done that yet. If you just have the 
like you just hooked the motor up and you just did a, a test and you have no knowledge of the system or whatsoever just set the motor up uh set the trend up um to be used uh, like right here you you don't want to put 360 right here just use uh automatic and automatic should be just fine um, because automatic will automatically take whatever it has and then you can still you can still detect if you're going in a positive or negative direction so the whole point of the trend is to show you if you're going to a positive or a negative direction so hopefully that was really helpful and that cleared up some issues um, some questions that were um, that some people had about uh, doing tests and t uh, testing the marker testing feedback and testing uh, so basically uh, the hookup test process so um, if you have any questions feel free to reach out and as always thank you for your support and enjoy the training and uh, hopefully you enjoy that um, I also have uh, again the advanced motion mastery course um, so if once you get through this um, it leads on to the next one and we keep growing and getting better so um, just let me know if you need anything or um, feel free to reach out and I'll be glad to help you out. Thank you.